Hi friends, it's Eric here. We're talking with fun people. Out of the fire into the fray. Uh, I've been sick for a couple of days. I had a, a have an infected tooth and my antibiotics and <laughs> just kind of feeling like myself again for the first time in you know better better part of a week almost. So um, anyway, got up today late. Looked at my emails and received an unlisted email from a person who I won't name out of respect for the fact that she chose to keep it all private or whatever. I wish she had published it because I want others to be able to see it and critique it as well. It's absolutely one of the worst examples of function bias expressing that I've ever seen in my life. This is an individual who's an FI dom and she got her feelings hurt one time by me in a type police episode. Now I've got almost a hundred episodes that doesn't narrow it down very much. Uh, but this critique of my nature and ways included, among other things, saying that, look, if I want to be more like C.S. Joseph, who's actually helping people, then I need to change my direction somewhat. And I'm just leaving a bad feeling in people. It's just sort of like candy. I mean, it's not real. It doesn't matter. Okay. First of all, I've got almost 5,000 videos. So do a little bit of research before drawing massive conclusions about my content, what I'm about, what I'm like, or anything like that, okay? I have done all sorts of different content, from comedy to music to debate instruction videos to MBTI instruction videos to type police videos to tournament videos to countless other videos, edited shit, non-edited shit, interviews. I've done everything. So... Don't come in here and tell me, like, Eric, I know what you are and who you are and how you're approaching things. Nobody knows that, including me. Nobody knows how I'm approaching things. I don't know how I'm approaching things. I don't have an approach. I have the seat of my pants by which I fly. I have thoughts about the possible approach. Sometimes I'm nicer than others. And when, she, when this woman says that she can see my humanity in my 5,000 subscribers video, sometimes I'm vulnerable. That's okay. That's part of me. Sometimes I'm like this. This is part of me, too. And sometimes people really deserve this part, like the person who emailed me. Now, she's insisting that C.S. Joseph is helping people because he's making them feel good. By her logic, the dentist would have told me, oh, there's nothing wrong with your tooth. It, it'll get better on its own. It's fine. There, now you feel better, don't you? Yeah, I do feel less worried. And then I die. C.S. Joseph is filling people's heads full of bullshit. There's no way that can be good. Sorry. It's a, a fundamental value conflict between me and this woman. She's an F.I. Dom. And a T.I. -E polar, clearly. Um, and is projecting her values onto me. Assuming that I'd be better off if I were more authentic in her definition of authenticity which includes helping people the way that she thinks is helpful, which is making them feel good. Well, the reality is, I do talk to a lot of people, and I have a lot of typing service clients, and I'd like to think that almost all of them feel very good at the end of the session, and they get my most serious and client-focused self. Um, but you know what, the viewers sometimes get that too, and what you call candy or not real or only temporary gratifying, temporarily gratifying type police videos and stuff, people enjoy them. They're media experiences. It's not some sort of investment in, in a spiritual life to watch an episode of type police, nor should it be. It's okay to watch things that are entertaining, and it's okay to watch things that are confrontational. It's okay to hurt people's feelings sometimes, especially when they publish shit. Because when you put published shit out there, you open yourself, you choose to open yourself to critique. You're welcome to critique me as you did. As you see, unfortunately, critiques of me end up with responses. I respond to them. That's my prerogative. I'm not telling you, you shouldn't be like you. I'm telling you, you're trying to impose your values on me and it's not going to work. As a matter of fact, I am being my authentic self. Right now, also when I'm being vulnerable. Both are parts of me that are authentic. Right now, I'm genuinely pissed at you. Why? Because you said such idiotic, stupid shit in that video you sent me. That's why. Uh-oh, did I hurt your feelings? Too fucking bad! I don't give a fuck, frankly. 
After all, you're launching stupid, pointless attacks at me that are completely off guard, uh, off, off, ungrounded, and off base. So, there's no reason for me to do anything other than shove them back up your ass where they belong. The end. <laughs>